All right, so we're still having fun with filters. Let's go to new and just click on no and let's create another type of terrain using the same principles using that shape and we're going to create like a crater that's basically landed right here in the middle of this terrain I don't know maybe these aliens are trying to uh, infiltrate earth and their mission failed and their spaceship basically crash landed right over here in the center so let's go to base custom base shape edit shape and let's say flatten entire terrain I'm gonna click on yes and now I'm just gonna be very subtle and add a little bit of detail over here on the terrain. So I'll just lift these up very, do it very subtle. Okay, then I'm going to go to filters, I'm going to go to add layer, and then let's add a sediment complex. I, re I actually really, really love this filter so much. It's one of my favorites. Uh, this and under erosion, I love these erosion filters as well, but we'll be using that sediment complex. Okay. Then I'm going to add a shape. So design shape, click on OK. Add shape. So it's going to be right here in the center. Let's go to edit shape. So we can see exactly what's happening over here. And then let's apply some smoothness and decrease the strength a little bit. And then let's decrease this height offset because remember what I said, this is a crater. All right, let's add some more pins over here. We want to basically round this out a little bit. All right, but we still want there to be some irregularity to the overall shape because it's not perfectly round in this case. So there's a crater right here in the middle where a giant spaceship or meteor or something has landed. Okay, and you can see if I click and hold it in the center, I can move the entire shape around all at once. But we've got a crater here in the middle. Okay, I'm going to click on, let's just see strength, let's smoothen that out just a little bit. A little bit more smoothness. Okay, then I'm going to click on done edit shape. Okay, and we want to add another folder. We want to go to erosion and we want to apply a, an erosion deep. Another one of the folders that I really, really love. Now, of course, this effect is quite intense right now, so we want to just drop down the overall uh, strength over here. Okay, max length is fine. And in this case, I'm actually going to specify a path. So I'm going to go to areas, uh, add area, sorry, an, an overall area. So I want that area to be over here. Right. And then I'll click on, I'll go back to surface filters and here by area under erosion deep, it's called default name. So now you can see where that crater landed. We've got this cracked ground over here and I didn't want it to be applied onto the rest of the terrain. Uh, but this could almost be like where a crater or something has landed, but you can obviously add more complexity to this, add some more filters and see uh, what you can actually do with this. So I'll shape over here, let's maybe increase that height offset to make it even deeper but there we go this is how I would create uh, a crater on the terrain and if I increase the overall strength over here let's see maybe not too much max length maybe that's fine play around with some of the slope strength as well in the overall slope just to get some different shapes but yeah there we go we've got a crater that has crash landed in the middle of this terrain and that's how I would go about creating something like this so just showing you the power of these filters and the different types of ideas you can end up coming with uh, coming up with all right